all over the world, stuff is going to waste. I mean, I really believe that the earth is full and there's enough and to spare. God's expecting us to figure out how to manage our resources and how to share our resources. When my kids were at home, whenever there was a service opportunity or they needed hours, say they wanted to be a service scholar at school or Eagle Scout, I'd say, you should collect the produce from our neighbors. They didn't want to do that. So after all my kids were grown, I was traveling with one of my daughters and I said, I really felt disappointed that nobody wanted to collect our neighbor's surplus. She looked me square in the face and said, well, why, why don't you do it? I was like, because I don't need service hours, because I don't, you know, like, I don't need service hours, I need service hours. <laughs> so that made me think, yeah, be the change you want to see. For years, I thought you couldn't take food to the food bank. Like, I thought, if, if it could be done, they would already be doing this. I was able to copy and paste some drawn carrots, and I put together a little flyer. I just took it and put one on every doorstep in my neighborhood. And then I went back to school to work on a master's degree, and I didn't really know in what. I just knew that I was supposed to go back to school. And all of my cohorts were doing these elaborate, amazing, save the world things, and I was conflicted. I, I really didn't know what to do my project on or what to study. And one of my professors knew that I had been making this attempt in my neighborhood. And she said, Pat, why don't you do that? And I said, because it's not that successful. It's so little, it's not saving the world. And she said, but it's something that really has a chance of having an impact. And um, I thought, I think this is why I went back to school. I was supposed to go back to school. This is so under tapped. I mean, it sounds so silly. I'm not doing farms or orchards or, I'm just tapping into backyard gardeners. So I spend my days either taking flyers around neighborhoods or public places like libraries or community centers. I needed to build relationships with the pantries that were receiving I, everything I can think of. If I have an idea in the middle of the night, I get up and write it down. <laughs> Walking out my front door in the morning or any time during the day and seeing that somebody has brought me there. they gone to the effort to bring me their produce. Like, that's silly, but it's so amazing. Um, and then I think probably the most rewarding, if there can be, is to see the people that I get to take it to, to the pantries who run out to help me carry it in, who are so emotional that, they, that they're allowed to have something that's fresh with zero food miles. Like, I can't get over how grateful people are to have fresh produce. Like, I didn't know how this would be received. You know, I sometimes would pull into the food bank prior to this year, and I'd be behind a truck that was dropping off a lot of stuff. And then I'd have my two little bags of tomatoes and cucumbers. And sometimes people would say, thank you. And sometimes they'd like, is this it? And I'm like, yes, and I'd drive away quickly. People want to share. They don't want it to waste. They just, like me, they didn't know it was possible. People who had stopped growing gardens because they didn't know how to manage their surplus are gardening again. People are looking for ways to be involved. Even people who don't garden, I don't know, it's like this thrilling little electricity. I don't feel like it's me, but I feel like the Lord is allowing me to be a part of it and that it will, I hope, I hope it will grow and kind of take on a life of its own. But right now, I'm what he's got. <laughs>